Well, here we are. Here's the um, first assembly of Marsbury School since the school closed. I hope you're all well and keeping safe at home. Uh, it's a good time to try and remember what we're all about in Marsbury School. Um, happy, try and keep happy, try and keep positive in difficult times. Enjoy the sunshine, try and do some nice things. Caring, really important that we look after everybody at home. It's difficult times for parents and siblings and elderly relatives. And remember, of course, that we think you're absolutely excellent. So um, all the staff at Marsbury School sending you the very best wishes at this difficult time. We're going to try and uh, post some video assemblies for you to look at on the YouTube channel here. Uh, staff, of course, have done a lot of work setting work on Teams for you. And there's lots of links on the website and things that you can keep going to keep up with your education. Um, as you know, those of you that have uh, sat through assemblies with me before, I, I generally like to have a poem. And today I was thinking particularly of a, a poem that I uh, always think about when we go on holiday at Sky, uh, to Sky every year. We tend to go and say we've got some very good friends who've got a croft, a small farm uh, in Sky, and we go up there at Easter and running across the uh, the fields in the croft just by the house. There's a beautiful little stream and at this time of year. The banks are covered with primroses uh, and the stream is flowing down into a lock. It, it really is one of the most beautiful places uh, I've been to. And it always puts me in mind uh, of this poem, one of my favourites. Uh, it's a poem by Gerald Manley Hopkins and it's called Inversnade. This darksome burn, horseback brown, his roll rock high road roaring down. In coop and in comb, the fleece of his foam flutes and low to the lake falls home. A wind puff bonnet of fawn throth turns and twindles over the broth of a pool so pitch black, fell frowning, it rounds and rounds, despair to drowning. Degged with dew, dappled with dew, are the groins of the braes that the brook treads through. Wiry heath packs, flitches of fern, and the bead bonny ash that sits over the burn. What would the world be once bereft of wet and of wildness? Let them be left, oh let them be left, wildness and wet, long live the weeds and the wilderness yet. The poem, as I say, reminds me of the, the holiday that obviously this year we're not going to be having in, in Sky with our friends. Uh, it also puts me in mind of farmers who do so much to look after uh, the environment that we're we live in here in North Wiltshire. We're very fortunate to live in a beautiful part of the country with farmers working hard to, to look after the countryside. And of course, at this stage, particularly importantly, working really hard to make sure that we're fed and the food we need is produced. Uh, obviously, we know that at Marsbury School, we've got lots of families and students who are involved in agriculture, and uh, it's a good opportunity just to reflect on what they do for us. So that's the, the first little go at an assembly for you, a new medium for me. Um, as I say, we'll try and put some new ones up there. Uh, wishing you all the very best. Hope you're well. And um, remember, happy, caring and excellent.